Okay, let's go ahead and jump into our mailbag questions here as we get a lot more pouring into the comments section. I want to answer as many as I possibly can here on the 49ers report. You guys ask, I deliver with my thoughts on whatever questions you get. I just want to go ahead and ask. We're going to pull some of the next questions up here right now using the hashtag 49ers as we do every Thursday in our live Q&A videos. We'll start with Jacob Miller, who says, Thomas, how do you feel about the quarterback situation? What do you want to do? Okay. There are two ways to look at the quarterback situation. One, total chaos, because they're not going to keep Jimmy Garoppolo. Do you assign somebody? Do you trade somebody? Do you draft for somebody? I don't know. Or do you go, Garoppolo's a quarterback. They've made that obvious. They keep saying that. Let's just roll with Jimmy Garoppolo. I think they're going to roll with Jimmy Garoppolo. I think all of this quarterback controversy stuff is a little bit of a smoking mirror, a smoking gun, whatever you want to call it. I think they're going to stick with, with Garoppolo, meaning I feel pretty good. I think Garoppolo's healthy and the rest of the team is healthy. And he has wide receivers, a running game, and a, an offensive line like he was supposed to at the start of the year and then didn't do the injuries, then they're good. But if not, then, you know, maybe you got to spice things up and trade for somebody. Let's just say this. I won't be shocked if they made a move for someone other than Jimmy Garoppolo, but I won't, I won't be shocked if they keep Jimmy Garoppolo. Does that make sense? I think Garoppolo's going to be quarterback number one in 2021. I've said that the past couple of weeks, and I'll, I'm going to stick with that. I, I feel very strongly that that is going to go ahead and happen. And so that's my uh, that's my thought process on, on, on how it is right now. I don't I, I, They're not in a bad spot. Let's just say that. They're not in a bad spot. John says, um, can you see the 49ers cutting Richburg and his big salary and drafting a center in the second or third round and moving Brunskill school over the right side and since McGlinchey played so bad? Man, that's a lot of things to go ahead and do. Listen, I have looked up and started to do my pre-draft crap in terms of looking at who's there in the second and third rounds. There are not a lot of very good offensive linemen late in this draft, a.k.a. second or third round. If you want to get an offensive lineman, you got to do it early. Now, the Niners could do that at number 12. There's some very good ones that would be, you know, on rookie contracts and would be very, very cheap. But I think that this makes it a little bit more difficult because they don't want to draft an offensive lineman at 12. They want to go corner. They want to go, you know, maybe pass rusher. They possibly want to add a wide receiver. Like, I don't know what they want to do exactly, but I know that offensive line is not their number one priority right now. And so I would say, well, that is a possibility. And I see what you mean right there. I think they're going to go ahead and keep the old line essentially as it is, despite the, uh, the you know the bad play from McGlinchey and the you know, the contract situation. Just roll with what they have because they are trusting it's going to get better in 2021 instead of getting worse overall. Okay, our friends at BetUS again, perfect spot to go ahead and jump on some sports betting here for Wild Card Weekend. You guys should do it. I'm telling you, you make some money. It's a ton of fun as well. Chessports.com forward slash four nine bet. Use that promo code Niners one two five for 125 percent deposit bonus. Put 100 bucks down. It turns into two hundred twenty-five dollars. Producer Sam uses BetUS for his betting. That's what I use for my betting as well. And I'm telling you, I got some locks here for Wild Card Weekend. I feel very good about Seattle minus three and a half versus the Rams. Asked that question earlier. I think the Rams are kind of limping into the postseason. The Bucks right now minus nine against a very different Washington Football Team that might not have Alex Smith at hundred percent. And then the Bears—they're not going to beat the Saints, but covering plus ten. I don't think the Saints blow out the Chicago Bears. The defense is too good. The pass rush is too good. I think that's a closer one-score game, meaning you make some money there. If you guys want to shout out on Monday's video, then email us your three Wild Card Weekend picks. Them to be these three. It can be AFC Wild Card Weekend picks, whatever you want. You go 3-0 and on your three picks. We'll give you a shout out on Monday's video. I want to get, I want to get some shout outs. So, you know, email us, 49erschessports.com. And, of course, give us those picks right now. And if you guys do sign up for the BetUS deposit bonus, you guys can email us your betting questions as well. If you have some basic betting questions, then you can go ahead and do it. 49ers at chatsports.com. Lions suck. I mean, they do. I mean, I'm not going I'm not, I'm not to argue with the uh, name of this channel that is asking the question. It says, Dak to San Francisco. I, you know, thought about this. He's probably the one free agent quarterback that would make sense. You know, you could trade for Matt Ryan, trade for Carson Wentz, trade for Sean Watson. But if you want to sign somebody, Without giving up the sun, moon, and stars, you could cut uh, Jimmy Garoppolo and go ahead and uh, and sign Dak Prescott. He's going to cost a lot. I think the, the Cowboys have proven that based on their performance without Dak Prescott at the helm. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I think he and Kyle Shanahan's offense can be very, very exciting, but the money is going to be interesting because he wants a lot, and it's a lot more than what they're currently paying Jimmy Garoppolo. Soli says, we think he's the biggest loss this offseason besides Sala. Well, I mean, you took Sala right off my, you know, I'm off the list. I, mean, I would have said Robert Sala. It'll probably be one of the cornerbacks because they're going to let one of them go. I mean, they're not going to re-sign every single cornerback. And so I think they got to re-sign K1 Williams. I think if they let K1 Williams go, it's a brutal blow to their nickel covers. They play a bunch of nickel. He's been very, very good. He would be a big loss. And then if they were to let Juszczyk go as a free agent, I think they got to re-sign Kyle Juszczyk. I think they will re-sign Kyle Juszczyk. But if they didn't, 
that would be a big blow as well. How about that? There you go. I'll give you a couple of names. Chances to get Justin Fields, zero at 12. I mean, there's no chance at 12. Justin Fields is going to go in the top four. He doesn't fall past Atlanta at number four right now in the draft. I think someone trades up to two with the Jets to go ahead and take Justin Fields. And so I'd say zero. So it would take, it, like, it would take trading up big time to go ahead and get him. So I don't see it happening. Ramundo says, Trading for Watson, two T's there, will cripple the team after everything uh, we would have left, uh, we would have to let go of. Yeah, then that's kind of the concern, right? That's that's the concern overall is that it will cost an arm and a leg. Like it will legitimately cost an arm and a leg. Like cut your arm off right now and give it to Houston because it'll cost that much. So great player, but man, it's going to be expensive. It's going to be so dang expensive. And so I'm kind of with you, Raymundo. I'm kind of with you overall because it is going to be not cheap, not cheap overall, as it is uh, it's what happens whenever you've got a great quarterback who wants to move to a different team. It's going to be expensive. Okay, let me ask you guys this question. Who you guys got in the wildcard game on Saturday afternoon? How about this? The NFC West battle, Seattle or the Rams? I wish it was a 49er. Sadly, it is not. But let me know you, you, uh, who you guys got. Have SEA for Seattle. Have LAR for the Los Angeles Rams. Let me see what you guys think here. I'm, I'm, I already picked Seattle. I mean, I, I bet on Seattle to win this game. So I'm going Seattle. Young Money says Rams, Seattle, Rams, Seattle. Okay, I'm going to have a lot more Seattle right now. Well, there's people there for the Rams. I think Goff's going to play, which I think has an impact, but I think he's going to be 100%. And so, yeah, a lot more Rams. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Seattle, guys. I, I think Seattle wins this one. But let, me know, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section right now. As of course, uh, we'll be keeping an eye on this game because these are our two big divisional opponents. Can, can they both lose? Unfortunately, no. You got to pick one. I, I think I think the Rams win that one. Here, Watson says, I think Verrett is better than Richard Sherman. He's younger. I mean, is he better? I don't know. I'd like to keep them both, honestly, if we were going to really. But okay, if this is like a pick one, I'd probably go ahead and do. Uh, oh, man, that, 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 that is tough. I'd probably go ahead and do Jason Verrett. Yeah. Yeah, if I was going to pick one or the other. That's tough, though, because Verrett's, I mean, he's younger, but it's Richard Sherman we're talking about here. I think that they would take Sherman over Verrett, but I would probably take Verrett over Sherman if I had to choose right now. But that's a really good question. Like That is a, that's a really good question from Hero. They got to keep one of them. How about that? They have to keep one of them because right now all the corners are literally, I mean, all of them are free agents. And so, you know, you got to keep in sign at least one or two, even if you want to draft somebody. So that'll be the real question. We'll talk more about that in a future video in terms of in-house free agents. They have to go ahead and, uh, and resign. Let's see our next question here. Which one we're going to go ahead and get as we throw, let's see, Alex says, would you have to give up? What would you have to give up? Sorry. What would we would have to give up roughly around the same draft capital trade up in the draft for someone like Watson, who's unproven, why not go in? A oh, Wilson is unproven. Why not go in for Watson to establish a league quarterback? Yeah, that's a good point. Although I think that Deshaun Watson would take like three first round draft picks. I mentioned earlier two. It'll probably would take three. Zach Wilson going from 12 to like five would take this year's first and next year's first. And that's about it. I think Watson takes two first, maybe even three in an elite established player as well. And that's just, I mean, it, it's a lot. But I, I mean, I, I, I see your thought process there is why not get somebody we know is good versus someone we don't know is good. And so... Man, well, the Sean Watson stuff, it's not going to die anytime soon either. We'll be talking about this for a while. And so, you know, we'll see. If they want to make a trade, this is a team that can go and pull it off because John Lynch is, John Lynch is, is he's good at this stuff. He's a Trent Williams one as um, on, on draft night. It's kind of shocked everybody there. So it can happen. But this is, uh, it's a, it, it's just a lot to ask to go ahead and get Trent Williams. So it says D4, Jimmy G, a 2021 first, 2022 second for Watson. That's a lot to give up. Like, I mean, Ronald McDonald said that's a lot to go ahead and give up. He's expensive. He's a good young player. You know, Carson Wentz a lot cheaper. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Carson Wentz actually is almost won an MVP. So who knows? Okay, Jay. Uh, oh no, 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 not not that one. Be told we got a different comment coming up. That's no, fine. I, 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 either way, let's see here. Uh, Jay says we draft Wyatt Davis. Mm, not very high on him. No, I'm not a big Wyatt Davis fan overall. But, uh, you know, listen, you got to make some options there at 12. We're getting him later in the first round. If you want to trade back, two options there overall. But, you know, it can happen. 